this video, let's get started creating a legend that we'll use for both door or window schedules or anything else that you'd like to lay out. The first thing I want us to do is we're actually going to come up here to our view tab and I'm going to come down here to legends and we're just going to create a legend and we can name this based on the type and I'm going to create two different legends but we're going to start with a door legend and I'm going to click OK for that. You would specify a scale if we want to use a different scale but I'm going to leave it at quarter scale just going through the process of how you lay these out and then I'm going to come up and create one more because I want to create a legend and we're going to base this one on our furniture so I'm going to create a furniture legend and you'll see why as we go through this tutorial so now over here on my project browser if I expand my legends category you'll now see that I have a door as well as a furniture legend and so the next piece that I want us to do is I'm actually going to open up our door legend first and now that I have this door legend open I'm gonna come up here to annotate and it's critically important that you create that you go ahead and that you create the legend view first um, otherwise you'll see that some of some of the action that we're carrying out now will be grayed out if you're in a drafting view for example um, so let me actually go ahead and show you that if I come up to view and just create a drafting legend and I expand that in drafting one view and I come back to annotate you'll see component is actually grayed out so you want to make sure that in order to use these legend components you have to start with a legend schedule makes sense there so we're going to go back to our door legend view we're going to click the drop down and we're going to use legend component so as soon as I click on that you'll see up in our options bar now the families in the project that have different views associated with them are available to us and it just starts with furniture up above but I'm gonna go all the way down um, we're actually gonna address our doors so we have a few doors that are loaded in our project and just for example I'm gonna pick a couple of these we're gonna start with our double flush 68 by 80 door type and you'll see by default I get a floor plan view which I can insert in this door legend view and then I'm actually going to change this to elevation as well and I can line it up you see Revit is allowing me to kind of track the placement of my floor plan view and then I'm going to just zoom out a little bit in here so that we can insert a couple more doors let's come on down and we'll, we'll use a single flush door and I'm actually going to insert the elevation first and you see once again I can line that up based on the edge or the center point however you're trying to whether you're building a legend the actual style of the legend you know that's going to be based more on the firm that you're with the floor plan I want to insert my floor plan view as well and I'll line that up center it in this column with say the plan view of each of these door and you can envision that I would begin to also come in here with my text tool And this will be door type A, so whether, you know, however you go about annotating that here in the view. And we would just continue to annotate this list and grow the list as, as we go. Um, and then realizing that we can come back here now with our annotate tab and we would begin to use our align dimension tool. And I can go ahead and begin to run my dimension strings based on these legend components and so you see how quickly we can just begin to lay out the elevations for our windows, the doors, furniture and begin to annotate them. I can actually go back to my annotate tab one more time come over to detail lines and I'll leave it on wide lines I'm just gonna give myself a ground line here and I can just go ahead and draw a ground line all the way through if, if I'm interested in just kinda of grounding the objects that I've inserted here
I'm just going to give myself one more ground line here. But very quickly, we can just begin to create these legends that we'll insert into one of our drafting views um, and onto a sheet. So just wanted to quickly show you how you would go about beginning to create elevation views for some of the objects in your project. I'll repeat it for my furniture. Now based on this project, now we're in our furniture legend view. We're going to come back up here to component one more time, the legend components. And you'll see the furniture families that we've built so far in this course are available to us. So I'm just going to select the five five bar table example. Sorry, I got the scrolling so quickly. If you're not careful and you begin to scroll, you'll actually start to scroll through your family list rather than zooming out as you might have intended. So I'll insert it first and now I'll begin to zoom out. Then I'm just going to switch to an elevation view and get that inserted too. And I just wanted to very quickly show you the differences between the two families that we have here. So I'm going to insert them, line these guys up. Go ahead and drop ourselves a floor plan view before we're done here. Escape out of this command. I'm going to use a line and very easily, very quickly you can see that although our table height is similar you'll see that the bench is different and you know if this furniture is being custom built or if we just wanted to be able to compare the two different types of furniture that we have here I'm able to very quickly pull a few dimension strings in this view and just get some good comparison of the two families that we've created the two family types that we've created in our past family creation videos. So I hope this video has been helpful. Um, it definitely allows you to very quickly generate what you may be needing to create as far as elevation views.